I don't know. I'm, sorry. I'm a stranger here. <laughs>
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Surrey Registration Service and on behalf of the management and staff here at Horsley Towers, we would like to welcome you to Horsley Towers <coughs> and hope that you all have an enjoyable and memorable day. But most of all, a very special and a very warm welcome to Justin and Becky. Now, Justin and Becky, although everybody here knows you very well, I'm afraid the law requires that you both fully identify yourselves. So, Justin, can I have your full names, please? Justin Paul Gulliver. Thank you very much. And Becky? Rebecca Ann Road tonight. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it has long been tradition in many parts of the world for the father of the bride to hand over his daughter to the groom. And Richard is here today not only to relinquish any form of ownership, he <laughs> 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 nearly ran her down, but, <laughs> but to signify in public his happiness with Becky's decision to spend her life with Justin. So Richard, are you happy for Becky to be married to Justin and to wish them well in their journey through life together? I am. You can give without loving, but you can never love without giving. The great acts of love are done by those who are habitually performing small acts of kindness. We pardon to the extent that we love. Love is knowing that even when you are alone, you will never be lonely again. Could I ask you both to please stand for me? Justin and Becky, you have come together today to formally unite and pledge your love for each other and to offer each other the security which comes from vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. However, before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you are about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of one man with one woman, voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. Now I'm going to ask you each in turn to declare that there is no law lawful reason why you cannot be married here today. And Justin's been a bit worried about this. <laughs> <laughs> because Becky, you can relax. I'm going to start with Justin. <laughs> Thank you. It's all right. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Any lawful impediment. Why I, Justin Paul Gulliver. Why I, Justin Paul Gulliver. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Rebecca and Road Knight. To Rebecca and Road Knight. Thank you. And now Becky. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Rebecca Anne Road Knight. Why I, Rebecca Anne Road Knight. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Justin Paul Gulliver. To Justin Paul Gulliver. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the part of the ceremony which they know nothing about. I'm going to be asking them both an important question, <laughs> and I hope they're going to say, I do. So, Justin, do you, in the presence of this company, promise to remain loving, faithful, and loyal to Becky for all your time together? I will. I do? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Both. <laughs> I will do. <laughs> and, Becky, do you, in the presence of this company, promise to remain loving, faithful, and loyal to Justin for all your time together? I do. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever-fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark, whose worth's unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error and upon me proved, I never writ, <coughs> nor no man ever loved. Well read.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, as the solemn moment has come for Justin and Becky to contract their marriage vows, can I please ask for the two witnesses to stand and come forward for me? Okay. It's you. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you all. Can you ask just a little bit? Oh, yeah. You need to get this. You can't be able to do that one. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to be exchanging rings and they decided not to entrust these to Peter. You can see why. <laughs> <laughs> but a very important and trustworthy young man, Lewis, would you like to come forward, young man, please? I'd like to just turn them round for me. That's wonderful. You have chosen these beautiful rings with care. Give them with love and wear them with happiness as a reminder of the vows that you say here today. So Justin, could I invite you please to take the ring for Becky and place it on her third finger of her left hand. Third finger? No, that try one. this one. Oh, <laughs> 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 you Thank you very much. And Becky, could I invite you please to take the ring for Justin and place it on his third finger of his left hand. <laughs> Lewis, thank you very much indeed. Well done, young man. Thank, thank you. <laughs> now, Justin and Becky, you are about to make promises to one another. Today, these marriage vows and beautiful words represent even more beautiful intentions. And you will find that as you live these vows over the years, investing your time, your love, and your commitment towards one another, the happy times will be twice as happy because you have each other to share those times with. And when times become a little difficult, they'll only be half as bad because you'll have each other to share those times with as well. So could I ask you please to hold ring hands and facing each other. I'm going to ask you to repeat these words. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. And I accept your ring. And I accept your ring. In celebration of our marriage. In celebration of our marriage. All that I am, all, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I will love you. I will love you. Comfort you. Comfort you. And protect you. And protect you. And give you friendship and support. And give you friendship and support. I promise you this with all my heart. I promise you, promise you this with all my heart. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. Th persons here present. Here present. To witness that I, Justin Paul Gulliver. To witness that I, Justin Paul Gulliver. Do take thee, Rebecca Anne Roadnight. Do take thee, Rebecca Anne Roadnight. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. And now, Becky, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. And I accept your ring. And I accept your ring. In celebration of our marriage. In celebration of our marriage. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. I will love you. I will love you. Comfort you. Comfort you. And protect you. And protect you. And give you friendship and support. And give you friendship and support. I promise you this with all my heart. I promise you this with all my heart. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. Here present. Here present. To witness that I, Rebecca Ann Roadnight. To witness that I, Rebecca Ann Roadnight. Do take thee, Justin Paul Gulliver. Do take thee, Justin Paul Gulliver. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Witnesses, thank you very much. If you'd like to take a seat, to me. thank you. <coughs> Justin and Becky, marriage is a declaration of your love for each other and your commitment towards one another. You are two persons with just one life ahead of you, and in joining your lives together here today, may you both be granted a very special lifetime together. The vows that you have said here today are the ones required by law and you have made a solemn and binding contract in the presence of these your witnesses, 
your family, your friends, and Leslie and myself. And it does give Leslie and I the greatest of pleasure to declare that from this day forward, you are indeed husband and wife together. Do you care to kiss your bride? Thanks, guys. 